first thing that we'll be looking at is users and profiles in the system right so any and every entity that logs into the system or wants to use salesforce will be, be a user in the system and to see users you can simply type users in the quick find box and this users right here will land you to the list of user screen now let me click on it so this shows you the list of users that you have in the system all right so right now by default salesforce provides three users ex chatter expert integration user and security user which are assigned to some profiles whereas the user with which we created our system when we first signed up for the developer edition org is himanshu maheshwari and this has been assigned the system administrator profile now a system administrator is someone who does almost everything that has to be done out of the box and has to be configured out of salesforce so you'll see that himanshu maheshwari has been assigned a profile which is called the system administrator and he has been provided the license salesforce which means this guy should be able to do almost any and everything now if i were to take you to this profile this link right here i could go to the profile section of it now profiles are nothing but encapsulators of collections or sets of permissions that a user should have to perform operations or do tasks in salesforce right so all of these permissions come under the profile so profile is like an umbrella right we'll will keep on revisiting the profile section whenever when and uh, as we as and when we need to you know uh, modify or play around with permissions but for now you can just see that the profile is the first place and the right place wherein you can add or remove permissions based on whatever you want your users to do or configure in salesforce right today if you do not want your user to see all these apps here and you just want him to focus on a specific app you can very well remove the access to these applications how would you do that you do that using the profiles if you want to show them some objects if you want them to not create records of certain object types if you want to show them a specific kind of page all any and everything all of that configuration or you know hiding or showing things can be taken care of or rather tackled from the profile perspective right so this is a good chunk of stuff right here we'll be looking into a good amount of it throughout our course will not be you know directly jumping into the entire profile section right away but yes we will we'll, uh, do it in bits and pieces all right let me take you back to the user section and let's see what is stored on the user level so as we already saw in our previous session right when i click on this beer icon the settings open up the user settings for the person who's logged in similarly if you want to see the advanced user details section which has all the information of the, about the user record this is this is that place basically for each record now if you'll see this name this alias this email this username a username should always be unique then there's nicknames and company information time zone locale language and then you have a profile assigned to it a prof corresponding license is available whether the user is active or not there's a role that you can assign to the user some checkbox bas based on certain features are available and some permissions down below all right let's scroll to the bottom and you'll see that you can also track your login activities here so you can see that the last login was made on 31st august and the last password change or reset email was sent on 29th august it also tracks the failed login attempts and this is not modify modifiable you cannot edit it it's a read only field all right and this shows you who created this record and who modified it so those timestamps are also available here all right cool let's switch to the profile section now if i click on the profile again you'll see that system administrator is a profile now the first thing that you see is every profile is associated with a license so licenses drive the kind of profile you'll get so i'll quickly show you one more one more example let me open users in a new tab meanwhile you can also see that this profile has the custom profile checkbox unchecked which means this is a standard profile now in salesforce you'll hear a lot of standard versus custom now what is standard and what is custom let me brief that to you so anything that salesforce provides out of the box is called standard now this profile right here did we create it no which is which means it's it's a cust it's a standard profile but if we created some profile of our own from scratch that would be something that would be custom and this checkbox would be custom here and this goes for almost every any and everything if you want to create some applications you will have some standard applications did you see me creating these applications no right which means these are standard applications but if in future i want to create my own application that would that can be done but that would be called a custom application all right so anything that salesforce provides is standard out of the box and anything that we create in inside this using the salesforce uh, using the force.com platform in salesforce that's called custom all right 
now if I were to take you to the user section let me just click on this user and let's try to modify some information here so I can just click on the edit button and I can modify anything that I don't like or probably I have done a typo or I want to change I can make all those changes right so I can just add information I can rectify information and I can also change information I can enable or disable the marketing user offline user and all of it and I can specify a role to this to this guy based on whatever requirements are there but you see license and profile cannot be changed for this user because this is the only user who's, who's created and this is created by Salesforce when we created our Salesforce org right now if I want to change anything down below I can do that whatever is editable can be changed and if you want to ch change the start of day or end of day or you want to add your manager here you can add your manager if you want to change your locale or times time zone all of this can be changed all right so we can make these changes and once we click on save the changes will be reflected on the user level all right if I want to change password for this user let's say the user uh, was on a sabbatical for three months and then we then when he came he or she came back they forgot their password so they can very well ask the admin to you know change password for them so what what the admin will do is he'll just go to the relevant user record and click on the change password uh, button click on click on it and this will uh, trigger a email to the relevant user on this particular email id right here and they'll be allowed to change their password let's switch back to profiles so now like i already said that you know this is a standard profile and this is the umbrella that holds all the permissions together but let's look very briefly at one you know what kind of permissions can this profile you know handle or provide so if we just hover over it casually you'll see you can make changes to the page layouts you can assign some page layouts based on your profile you can do some level of security settings which is on the field level we'll look into this in detail you can modify field level security you can change application settings like i said you know you can hide and show applications for a particular user that can also be controlled we'll look into this in detail then you have tab settings so tabs are nothing but you know these tabs right here these navigation items that you get to click on and visit a page so these tab settings can also be controlled from the profile settings what do we have next record type settings we'll look into what record types are and how can these be modified we'll look into this in detail let's scroll down so and then you have some administrative permissions and then you have some system permissions i believe or general user permissions and if you see for this guy who is the system administrator he has almost everything checked right because he's the system admin he has to have all the permissions so that he can play around the org with the, without any uh, trouble then you have object level permissions you can make your changes on the you know you can set permissions on the object levels uh, we'll look into this in detail then you have something called desktop integration client session settings then password policies so you can also configure password policies if, if you are based on whatever uh, enforcements you can you, you want to provide so if you don't want users to you know select a password which was from one of the last three passwords they used they cannot do it you can set a minimum password length you can set a complexity whether it should be a, a simple al text based or alphanumeric or anything like that whether the password question can contain their password or not what are the maximum invalid login attempts what is the lockout effective period and so on and so forth right there's also ip address related tracking which is under under login hours and login ip ranges so if you want your you know if your business is running and is is data compliant you probably want to set sub ip ranges so that people outside of that ip range should not be able to log into your uh, salesforce environment right you can define those login ip ranges here or you can also define some login hours let's say you want your employees to work from 10 to 6 and if someone wants to log in at 7 they'll automatically be blocked they won't be allowed to log in because that's out of the login hours so you can enable and you know configure these information as well so a lot of permissions can be enabled and disabled and mostly uh, people or you know companies or uh, businesses use profiles to configure all of it right now you can have multiple profiles and based on multiple profiles you can definitely have multiple users right so if i were to see how many users are system administrators in the system i could simply click on the view users button so this would show me that Himanshu is currently enrolled as a system administrator in the Salesforce environment and is acting, is basically the system administrator based on the profile has been assigned. Now you could have multiple users here or you could have multiple users of different kinds of profiles also. You can create some profiles, we'll, we'll do that very soon. Alright, and if you want to make any changes to the user, you can do it here or if you want to make any changes to the profile, you can go to the profile and edit it there. And this user right here is active you can inactivate users you cannot delete users from the from the system you can only deactivate them all right 
that's an important parameter you cannot delete users you can just deactivate them once you click on deactivate the licenses that they are consuming are freed up so if you see the user licenses salesforce here right that's why when we went to the when we that's why we were seeing you know on the company information section that one of salesforce licenses was being used so if i just show you again the salesforce license right here one is being consumed and out of the two right only one is remaining and then if you see down below we have permission set licenses and then you have feature licenses i don't see any of the permission set license used but if you see that some of the feature licenses have been used now what are those one is marketing user one is offline user one is service cloud user and then sales for crm content user right so these four are being used and if i were to show you the same thing let's see here you'll see that the marketing user feature is enabled offline user feature is enabled service cloud feature is enabled and similarly salesforce crm content user feature is enabled so you see one user can only be assigned to one profile and a corresponding license but he can definitely be assigned to multiple feature licenses right these are all features so this is this is how features are being uh, provided or you know removed from from users by using check boxes but the core profile of a user always stays one just remember this all right so in a in a nutshell a profile can be assigned to multiple users example a system there can be multiple system administrators in the system right but a single user can only be assigned to one profile that means himanshu can only exist as a system administrator he cannot be a crm manager also in the system based on the profile let's now create a custom profile so what we'll do is we'll quickly go and type in profiles here you'll keep you'll, you'll be seeing me you know writing all these keywords here because this quick find box is the magic box which gives us all the configurations up that are available to be done in salesforce so first i typed in users and i went to the user section and now i typed in profiles and i'm here on the profile section now if you see this is the list of profiles which is already available and again if i were to ask you is this standard profile or custom you can see this checkbox right here so all these profiles are standard apart from these three all right so this is something that salesforce provides as a custom custom profile based on the three applications that are there so this is for sales cloud this is for su support cloud or rather uh, service cloud and this is for the marketing cloud all right and apart from these all of these are standard now you cannot do any changes on the standard profiles which means if you want to replicate or you know uh, simulate a behavior of a specific profile based on the permissions it holds you have to clone that profile and you have to make it as a custom profile what do i what do i mean when i say that let's say i want to create something of some profile of a sales profile all right so my first go to profile could be the custom sales profile right if i click on this and if i click on edit i think i can very well you know play around with it i i can change it let me click on save and this gets saved right because this is a custom profile so you can only make changes to a custom profile you cannot do it to a standard profile all right let me go back to profiles and let's look at some other profiles so there are 38 profiles if i click on next here so you'll see this is also a list of profile and this read only profile is also a custom profile all right now let me do something let me use the standard user profile and one more thing that you you'll be able to notice is every profile is associated to a user license right so we will see how how it you know works together but for now let's create a new profile first of all so i'll just quickly do something if i go to standard user which is of type salesforce license i'll just click on clone all right and now i'm using the existing profile standard user which has the user license salesforce and what I, i'll just call it support manager profile just for now i'll call it support manager profile and i'll click on save now what happens when we clone a profile all the permissions that were on the salesforce standard i mean the standard user profile have come over to our custom profile and now we can tweak them and we can play around with them all right and if you will take a notice you see most of the permissions here are unchecked unlike how we saw for uh, salesforce system administrator right everything was checked let me just open it side by side so you'll see the difference of you know who a system admin is and who a normal user is so system admin guy will have almost all the permissions or you know most of the permissions enabled because the system admin is the uh, top gun of the company right he has to take care of all the things that happen in, inside salesforce so he needs most of the permissions now if i were to casually you know hover down below and scroll down you'll see that you know see see all of these things most of the things are checked right just take a look just take a quick look most of the things are checked most of the things are checked and here all the object permissions are given everything is checked here now if i take you to the profile that we created see the limit the number of checks are very limited 
now which means this user won't have you know thing won't have the permissions to do most of the things but he'll be capable capable enough to do things that we want him to do right so if you see for objects also you don't have all the permissions enabled but you have a good chunk of them so that should be good to be good to start with all right so this is our first profile that we have created which is called the support manager profile and it is a custom profile and it uses the salesforce license all right now how do we see which users are assigned to the support manager we can click on the view users button and right now no user is assigned correct which is right we did not create any additional users but let's go ahead and do that now let's click on new user and let me just give it a, the name of support manager if the alias is automatically populated i'll call it support.manager at the rate gmail.com the username will be copied i'll just i'll not change it let it be the nickname also gets auto populated and now if you see there's a user li license drop down and then there's a profile drop down right now what happens if i change the user license from salesforce to salesforce platform you see the profile drop down changes which means the selection of the profile is subject to the license that you choose make sense so based on the user license that you choose you'll be able to select a corresponding profile because on profiles are tightly bound to the license that's provided by salesforce now if you were if you wanted to provide the salesforce license you'd get a list of these many profiles remember the custom sales support and marketing profile or where all were associated to a salesforce license that's why these are showing up here right you're only seeing the list of profiles which are for the user license salesforce now you see our support manager profile is also coming up here because we assigned the license because we cho chose a salesforce based license for it so what i'll do is i'll just assign this profile here i'll just choose the salesforce license and assign this profile mark it as activated and i'll leave everything as is and then i'll just quickly go down below the time zone local and language looks fine i don't want to add a manager and if, if you see this this button right here if you want your users to be notified and you know they can generate their new password through email you can check this box and click on save this will send an email to the email email id that's been enabled here or else you can just you know uncheck this and click on save all right okay so this is saying this is a duplicate username so what i'll do is i'll just say support manager profile and now let's try to save it so you see somewhere this username is already existing which is why it's not letting us save it with the username now if i try to save it with the new username that i've added let's click on save and our user has been created right so now if i go to my profile i'll be able to see under view users there's one user that's been associated looks good easy to configure cool so you have now you should be able to create a profile and you should be able to create users associated to it right now there will be an assignment coming up uh, with this uh, with this course uh, just take a look at the resource section and uh, try to create the profile that that's been asked and try to uh, create a user associated to it right it's pretty simple you don't need to do any kind of configurations or permission changes you just need to create a profile and you just need to create a user all right cool let's head on to the next section